This is Drom Shekasuto. But uh, Baruch Hashem, the Creator wanted it uh, to start. I was still uh, cleaning the camera lens when it started. Baruch Hashem, things are well, things are good. Baruch Hashem, we are uh, we're coming closer to the wonderful day of uh, Shabbat. Shabbat is a beautiful day. I have um, many thoughts about those things that we are uh, discussing and talking um, that I wanted to share with you, that I wanted to, to speak about. I know that there are many people that are struggling uh, with certain things that, um, that must be discussed. I know that um, the background of uh, like my, my family, where we came from, my wife as well, so we're not religious from birth we're not uh, we 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 grew up like in a place that we were allowed to think that we were allowed to express our thoughts and to and like to argue and like it was it was part of our education now we took those things and when we decided to come back to Hashem in a way and to like to become religious so we put all those things aside like we 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 accepted on ourselves certain um, uh, orthodox guidings and a rabbi and whatever, and we just like went all the way with that and like whatever they're gonna tell you you should do and you you can say this you can do that like whatever and like everything is so strict and you must like do more and more and more. Uh, but with time, like we felt that our um, freedom is being taken away from us, and that we're losing our identity, and that we're not able to give what that we really desire to give to our children. For an example, me, I grew up um, loving the sea very much. Like I was, I would go on my bike, or I would go. Uh, with my parents when I was younger to the to the beach and uh, we would swim and like I, I like I really and I, I was also a, 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 a professional swimmer when I was when I was young so like I like I have a connection with water with the sea and, and I like it and because that we grew up in a religious because that my kids grew up in a religious area environment neighborhood so we couldn't like it was like it wasn't an option it was not uh, it was not an and they didn't have the opportunities to enjoy from those things but me as a parent i wanted to give them those things but i didn't know really how how to do it because you know the seas the beaches are not as as modest as you you would want them to be and in reality you can you can find yourself seeing things that you don't want your children to see so people are not going but I still like really wanted them to enjoy what the nature has to offer and what did I believe that the Creator created for us to to enjoy from so we would go let's say early before dawn even taking the little kids um, into the car without no one know like in the school and whatever we would just take a day off and and we would drive to to the beach at, at sunrise like before people waking up and before people would get to the sea and and to catch the sun and we would sit on the beach and we would show them the sunrise and we would sleep in the car like like crazy like we we were poor we didn't have money there was no money like for private vacations and take them to a private um, um, house on an, on an island like we lived in Israel and we didn't have money like we would go in the middle of the night driving to 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 Tel Aviv or to different um, seashores or maybe even to Elat or to the Dead Sea to Yamamelach and we would expose our children to those things uh, but, uh, like in uh, in 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 ways that were not 
um, like the mainstream of our community that we were belong to or that the orthodox religious people in, in that neighborhood. But we would do those things because we felt that if we won't do it, so we're going to lose our identity. We're not going to be who, who we are. We're not going to achieve, we're not going to um, offer our children the best that, that we believe that they deserve. And with time, things get uh, like worse and worse. That in certain time, we realize that like we are, we're choking ourselves and we're not doing things uh, um, at all based on on our needs and it felt very bad and um, and the area the environment where we were over there was choking was very tight very like demanding and not from the side of religion and that's the beauty of all of it why because when a person he thinks to himself all right i'm gonna change something in my life so immediately those fears are attacking him you're not gonna hold on, you're not gonna succeed, you're gonna be left out, you're gonna be punished, you're gonna be judged, you're gonna be suffer, you're gonna suffer. All those things are, are those fears are attacking the person and, and for that he gives up to his fear, he surrenders to his fear. But in the end of the day, after we were strong enough and brave enough to make those changes in our lives and to take our lives to a place that we really felt more comfortable with and, and, and by that changed our environment, changed our community, changed our, the society that was surrounding us, changed our location, Start, like started to move out from, from the ghetto that we lived there before and to see more things and to refresh our memories uh, our memory of what really exists in the world and what is the real true potential of, of this uh, lifetime of a person so when we started to do that we realized that actually we're not losing our connection with God that we're at all not falling off the path, falling off the right way, just even more so, getting more stronger and happier and finding more reasons why really to keep the, the Shabbat from, from more positive reasons and eating kosher even in places that it's harder to find kosher food and, and like suddenly you find that the Judaism that like for us it's Judaism, for someone else it, it can be a different faith it's not it doesn't it doesn't matter I'm the fact that I'm Jewish and that I'm teaching things using the concepts of, of Judaism it's not because that now I'm preaching for Judaism no it's just like that's my life that's I'm I'm, I'm talking from from that place it can be a Chinese vlogger that's gonna t talk about his life and and I'll agree on every word that he will say even if I like don't do anything in a similar way to him like I'm, I'm totally different just me in my life I'm 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 I'm, I'm trying to be honest and and whatever so I'm just sharing that honesty so every person should take those words and 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 to bring them to into his life you don't like it's not Judaism it's like it's fear from society it's certain things that society is obligating you and forcing you and, and, and always makes you feel guilty and, and that you're not right and that you're not doing things in the correct way and that you need to improve and on and on. Like all this crazy, crazy negative way of thinking and, and criticism that is surrounding and choking every human being and blocking him from his true potential to, to, to bloom, just to be happy. Like, we 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 we're going now to see um, um, like a, a, a apartments, uh, houses for rent because we're about to finish our lease here um, where we live in uh, in the beginning of August, and we went to see one house and we saw like the like one of the most beautiful gardens we we ever see. The person over there probably he has this touch for for gardening. Probably he's doing it himself, 
Like he made the the garden like such a beautiful place to 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 be, like to spend time in. in, in like now it's a talent, you know. It's not like oh he has money and he's doing it. No, you see that like the person himself, like he puts his heart to it, and even if he's paying someone to do it, like he brought someone that knows the work, and it's beautiful. It gives you something, you know. It's like for him it's it's satisfying it's 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 relaxing like you walk in that garden we didn't take that house because the house was too small like whatever a few other things that were there that didn't uh, suit our suit our needs but but you see that people has talents are blessed and gifted in certain qualities and that's the beauty of creation you're gonna come to visit my house. You're gonna see the things that are shining in my place. I'll come to visit in your place, in your house, in your hometown. I'm gonna see different things, and they're all fantastic. And everyone need to 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 shine the light that that is like in a natural way is growing from from in, from his inside, from 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 the light of his soul. And, and that's the beauty of creation, that everyone will allow himself to think and not to be afraid and scared from, from discussing certain topics that are not allowed to be discussed, like whatever, like... It's such nonsense, it's, sh it's such a filthy lie to block the... Like, only when a person is, is willing to, to, to be so, like, um, 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 abusing and controlling so he he will not let his followers or his friends or his children or his students to think he will try not to protect them that's a lie if really you want to protect them you need to give them tools you don't need all the time like to cover up for them and to hide them and like all those nonsense that's a lie that's a system and there are many many leaders and teachers rabbis priests i like and it doesn't matter in all section, sections, in all communities of all nations around the world, people that are abusive, people that are uh, that are controlling, people that are that are 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 trying to to how you say that um, to manipulate the mind of, of people and trying to to control their thoughts and brainwash them to force them to to a certain path it's it's all to to possess you it's all to control you it's all to take the power of the free choice from your hand and to put you under them and then to use you and then to suck your money and to suck the power of life and your happiness and to make you a slave of the system and this is the thing that we must fight against with all our power. With all our power. We not allow to let people abuse us. You are not supposed to let someone else lead your life. If you enjoy certain wisdom of a certain person, you should have the power to go and to learn from him and to take what that you desire. But for him now to start telling you and bossing you around, you must do this, you have to do that, and no, and this is not the right way for you, and you cannot do that, that is a clear sign from heaven that that person is a snake, that that person is a predator, that that person is a cruel creature from side of darkness, from evil powers that are crawling on face of the universe trying to possess you and to take your soul your spirit your happiness to take control over you to take decisions for you and soon he's gonna start demanding certain things that will be completely against your comfort and your freedom and we must fight against that with all our power no matter how those people present themselves who they present themselves to be he is the righteous man of the generation he is the holiest prophet he is the leader of them all he i don't know i don't care i don't care if you ask me i wish he won't wake up tomorrow morning I wish for him to disappear from earth that we're never gonna see his 
creepy face anymore. If he is using his power to control other people's life, to use them, to use them, to take advantage of his power and to use their weaknesses and their fear and their innocent desires to come closer to the Creator and to force them into his system. Oh, you need to pay and you need to do this to be part of the congregation, of part of the synagogue, part of the community. If you want, you have to, you are obligated, you must this, you must that. If that is the system over there, it's better for you to live in the desert. It's better for you to live alone in a cabin. It's better for you to live in the forests alone, lonely, and only to do it, Buddha Duyot, only to talk to heaven. Please, Father in heaven, guide me in the path of truth. Connect me to people that are similar to me. I saw a very sweet um, um, meme uh, like, uh, uh, on, on Facebook. There was a picture of a unicorn that is, is thinking something in his mind. You see this bubble, this cloud of his thoughts. And he's seeing another person walking toward him, this unicorn. And in his thoughts, you see what he is thinking to himself. He's saying, I wish that I'm going to find some, that he, that person, I wish that he's going to be as weird as I am. I wish that he's going to be as weird as I am. Like, we're looking for friends, we're looking for people that will be like us. We're looking for people that will love life, people that will know how to appreciate good time, people that, that likes to, 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 like to enjoy simple life. Like, one likes to cook, one likes to paint, one likes to learn Torah, one likes to dance, one likes to make music. Like, and, and, and we love everyone. I, yeah, you're a chef, you're a cook, I want you to cook, like enjoy life, whatever, like what, what do I need you to do for me? Like we're friends. You enjoy my work, you believe in my work, like that you're gonna go and buy the art of an art, uh, art uh, uh, of an, uh, um, uh, art, how you call, how you say artistic, Oman, and, and, and a person that, that a painter, like, you're gonna go and buy, how you say, artistic is the, is not the word that you say. Artistic is, is the, is the talent. How you say, like the, the, the person that creates it. Artist, right, thank you. Artist, so that artist, you're gonna like his art and you're gonna go and, 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 and buy his art. So you're gonna support him as, as a fan, as, as someone that knows how to appreciate his art. Thank you, Glow. And you're gonna just buy his art and, 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 and gonna support him by that. So, for an example, you like things that I do, you like our project, you support us. But for me to go and start telling people, oh no, you should support, you must do this, you must do that. Like, that's crazy, that's sick, that's sick. I was learning in a certain place, in a certain place, they were forcing us to give them our money, like all of our money, like we were obligated over there to give all the Meister money, 10% from our income. They would take it in force. They would force us to, to give the 10%. Like from the payroll that we would receive, they would take, they would take the 10% off, like from our payroll. Like you must support the institutes. Come on! It's crazy! It's crazy! Like you like my work, you can support me. You like, okay, thank you. Because of your generosity, because of your donations, we're able to go. IRS, it's a, it's a, it's a compliment for those criminals. Like it's crazy people, abusive liches, people that are like sucking the blood of your of, of 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 your life like it's so not fair it's so disgusting it's like that is not the path of truth and they can call themselves jewish and religious and righteous they can present themselves as the leader of the generation the holiest one holy cows holy cows holy animals holy nonsense holy moly Holy crap, Shtuyat, nonsense, poor people, those are the poor people. And we don't need to let them abuse us, we don't need to let them and give them the power because we're afraid. 
So what you need to do, you need to fight against your own fears and anxieties and you need to confront your fears and you need to stand up and to look at that person and to tell him, in Hebrew we say, Ad kan, not more than that, until here. That's it. That's it. Stop right now. Now, and if you're not able to do that, and it's too risky for you and for your family, so uproot yourself from this filthy area and go and plant yourself in a better field, in a better place, even in a different state, in a, even in a different uh, area. And even if it's your parents that are abusing you, and even if it's your family, even, even if it's that rabbi that everyone are saying that he's so righteous. I saw those righteous ones. I've been there. I saw. I feel like vomiting when I'm thinking about their ho holiness. It's not holiness. It's a bunch of lies. Those are filthy, pathetic people that they themselves don't know how to confront and deal with their own fears. And for that, they're abusing others and taking advantage of the weaknesses of other people. It's better for you to go and live alone in the desert, live alone in the field, we, like exactly like we do. What are we doing? We're here now, we live in Monsi. What do you think? What's, what, what do we have in Monsi? That's what we have in Monsi. Nothing. Quiet. That's what we have. We have quiet. We found a place that we could afford, that we can put a trampoline for the kids, for them to play, that we have this place, the seat that I can, that I can swing, that I can relax. My wife, she has her kitchen. That's what we do. We went a few times to the synagogue over here in the, st in the same street that we live. People are talking and talking and talking and talking and talking in the synagogue in time of Mincha, in time of Mayriv, in time of Kabbalah Shabbat, talking and talking and talking and talking. The Shliach Tzibur, the Chazan, didn't finish the Shmona Yisra and he starts already to talk and talking and talking and talking. No, you don't need to live in Monsi. I promise you there is nothing for you, Elliot, to do in Monsi. Nothing at all to do in Monsi. You need to ask Hashem, please Hashem, where will I find happiness? Monsi is not an answer. There is no right answer. You need to go and find yourself. Monsi is not a solution. You have areas in Monsi that you wouldn't want to cross the street. You need to find your quiet. I'll tell you why they do that, David. They do that because they don't want to work. They do that because they don't want to take responsibility on their lives and they are so cruel that they found an easier solution than labor, than work, than effort. And what is that? That they desire to, 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 to find a, a quicker solution, an easier way, and that you're going to work and that they're going to take 10% from you, take 10% from me, 10% from him, for them, from them, and that's it. And after you're going to finish giving all those 10%, they're going to be rich and you're going to be poor. And they're finito la comedia. They're happy and you're broken and they control you, took advantage of you, abused you, sucked the life out of us. And they're happy. I'm not going to cooperate with that. And I bless you not to cooperate with that. And we'll be strong together. And we're going to fight back. And we're going to reject all darkness and going to deliver light. In all aspects. Now I'm going with my kids to the mikveh before Shabbat. May Hashem bless you all, bless us all with much happiness and success. Amen. Ken, Yehi, Ratzon. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.